been doing the work. Hopewell is receiving high accolades for having the highest reduction in crime of the 13 Virginia cities implementing Operation Ceasefire. It's a program aimed to reduce violent crime by focusing on prosecuting repeat offenders using weapons and targeted intervention efforts. What we're doing is working and that um, having a different holistic approach is, is the way to go. Maurice Washington is one of the violence prevention coordinators who is working to implement the program. He was thrilled to see Virginia Attorney Jason Miarez recognize Hopewell's efforts this week because the city's 33% reduction in violent crime from 2022 to 2023. Hopewell got the program off the ground and running last summer. The city charged nonprofit Real Life to work in tandem with Hopewell Police to implement a group violence intervention model for the prevention piece. They call it Project Safe, Alive and Free, where police use crime data to identify people they believe could be shot or could shoot other people. Washington and a team then carry out the prevention work. It can include daily check-ins, connecting people to resources, peace walks, serious conversations at people's homes with a community leader and more. Let them know that. You know, it, that awareness to them gives them gives them the knowledge that, hey, you know, I, I could be locked up soon or or worse. But also we're, we're giving them chances to, to do something different. And I'm able to show them how I changed my life around. Washington says intervention is what changed his own outcome. It's very rewarding just to know that I'd be, I'm able to give back. You know, when the, when the law enforcement came to speak with me after a shooting, I sat back and wondered, you know, I need somebody to talk to. There's nobody to talk to. And I was very traumatized. So, but afterwards, nobody came to me to talk to me and ask me, was I okay? Currently, Petersburg and Richmond are also participating in Operation Ceasefire. However, they have not adopted the same prevention program through real life. Real life says they're in the planning phases with Petersburg and the RRHA in the city with the hopes to launch this summer. This right here is helping people change. It, not only keeping keeping guys out of jail, but changing lives around so they can be better productive citizens and better neighbors. It's work Washington looks forward to continuing carrying out in Hopewell and help to make happen in other Central Virginia cities. Just building the relationships that I've been building and just knowing that their lives are changing for the better is just brings me a lot of joy. In Hopewell, I'm Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.